Good day and welcome to another start of a week at the plot. It's Monday and even though it's been quite overcast this morning, it's now around two o'clock and the sun is really trying to come out, which is why I've stepped into the polytunnel because when I started filming outside it was just too bright for my eyes and I was squinting. So I thought, no, go into the polytunnel. There's a little bit of extra shade in there because of the green cover. And there's normally a little bit of extra shade because of the buddleia, which of course we started cutting down yesterday. So where the sun's positioned at the moment, I'm not getting any shade from the, the buddleia that we cut down yesterday. But you know what? That was the whole point of taking some of that buddleia down, particularly the bit really close to the poly, so that we could get more light in here. That was the whole object of doing that, or objective really of doing that. There's quite a bit of noise going on today. There's some banging going on somewhere behind me. There's workmen on the um, the house near our gate, which is being refurbished. There's also some roadworks going on. We've had tap water and drinking water running in the road from a burst pipe for virtually three weeks, I think. And finally, um, Thames Water, who or whoever it is, have come to sort that out. So there's a lot of noise going on from there. But I'm not too worried about that because I'm actually going to be adding to that noise for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, because I'm going to be doing the first stream of the year, which is great. I'll have that wonderful grass smell going through my nostrils, which I adore. As I always do when I, I'm strimming, I'm going to make sure that A, I'm wearing goggles and B, I'm wearing gloves and C, wherever I'm going to strim, I'm going to bend down and put my, my fingers into the grass to make sure there are no hedgehogs or hoglets or frogs or newts, which we don't have up here. They, they have them further down on the site, but I do need to make sure there are no frogs. Let me show you why. Look what we have here. Can you see all this gel-like material in there? That's frog spawn. So we have frog spawn in our year old washing up bowl pond. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just extraordinary? I want to take some of the pond weed out of here and uh, put it into the... Gosh, I've also just noticed, sorry, I stopped talking. I'm not sure, I don't think you can see, but right down here on the side are loads and loads of baby snails. And when I say baby snails, I mean, literally, they're just maybe... Three two or three millimeters long but wow I'm I mean you know talk about oh can you see them in there at the back oh wow get that leaf out I've what I have done is I've put this over um because this is also this washing up bowl pond is also a favorite of the foxes so they're going to have to drink out of this one up here down here in the meantime but wow i mean i just didn't expect to have frog spawn in this pond amazing nature is just extraordinary absolutely right that streaming's not going to do itself
when I uploaded the day's video to Planet Vegetaria the other day, Lucy mentioned about turning these around and having them short-sided onto the bed. And then Joseph said exactly the same thing when the video went live on YouTube this morning. So I've been thinking about it since Lucy said that on Friday and have decided to give it a go, which I think is going to work. The great thing about having them this way is that I open up this central area between these two as my pathway down the middle of the bed. They're not quite in the right position, but it allows that entrance to the bed from this end. And also, this is where we had the tree last year. And this was just about enough space. So we're adding a bit more space here to be able to work easily around this area. And you know what? I think that's going to work. I really do. The other thing is, it. it I'm thinking about putting this tree which is a oh what is it it's that eating apple bramley it's a bramley eating apple i'm thinking of putting it into this larger tub and by pulling this out this way rather than lengthways or pulling it out lengthways rather than widthways against the bed it sort of lines up better that way as well so this one isn't sticking out in a way that it was before so I'm going to live with this, but you know what? I think it's going to work. It then gives me the opportunity to put a little thing down here if I want. Oh, I was given a a little uh, a little thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? No. <laughs> No, that's not going to work. That's A, too little, and B, too standy-outy. But yeah, it gives me an opportunity. Oh, I'm going to have to take that away. <laughs> it was already annoying me. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, gives me an opportunity to put something there if I want. Or obviously, it just allows for more wheelbarrow clearance. Right. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with more time on this bit, but I'm going to say goodbye and just do this bit of extending out and do some marking up here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now after I've had a cup of coffee. OK, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Good day, and what a lovely, a lovely day it is. Yeah, it's the calm before the storm. We're supposed to be having a storm tomorrow. Well, we're supposed to be having strong winds and gusty rain and horrible weather from tomorrow for a few days. And if it develops into a storm, it's going to be called Storm Evert. So we will see whether it does develop into a storm. But today it's absolutely glorious. 
There's a breeze, which is lovely. In the sun, it's gorgeously warm, just beautifully warm. And yeah, the sky is that sort of pale, slightly misty blue. Gorgeous. And what I have been doing is <laughs> pushing my wheelbarrow around. I put a, a bag of compost in there because I wanted some weight in there to see how it felt moving around those corners. And I don't often go with a wheelbarrow down the narrow uh, um, channels between the beds, the, the edge beds. But I did that today because I do do it sometimes. I saw how it was cutting around this corner here by the shed. I saw if I had enough room to come out by where the mint is going to be. And you know what? I'm happy with that. And then that also set me to thinking about the compost bags at the end and the white jumbo bag, which has the old compost from the old pallet bin composter that we inherited when we took over the site and where that compost will go because it it needs to go somewhere it'll most probably go on the perennial bed i think but i'll have a look at it we'll have a look at it later this week dependent upon weather but yeah my main job today was to see whether i was happy with how that wheelbarrow ran through the corners here and yeah i'm happy with it i'm happy with it you know the thing is when we've got five bags four or five bags of compost in a wheelbarrow which is usually a bit too much anyway um there's always going to be some sort of wobbling but i'm happy with what i've got there i know that some of those beds may have taller things in them um they might have bean poles in them this year they might have the bascom in them another year so there will be some height within the beds but if we all remember they're not going to be edge beds they're going to be ground beds at the end of our edge beds so yeah i'm happy with that right i'm going to get on with a bit of watering now because yeah there's certain things that need water we're going to be deluged apparently tomorrow as i say but there's still things that need a water before that happens so I'm going to get on and do that. Bye. Good day. As you can see, quite a damp day today. Such a change from yesterday. But you know what? I needed to get out. I've done quite a bit at my desk this morning. And I just wanted to feel the soil, <laughs> be in the open air and have a walk down here a little bit of thinking time a little bit of quiet time and i remembered what vivi said the other day if you watch vivi you'll you'll know that something has occurred in her life and she was saying about us sowing some seeds for people who have passed on and i thought you know what when i was doing the allotment tour the other day I saw that bare patch in the flower border bed so the rain is down the the ground is wet stroke moist 
and I just tickled it over with the grass rake. Didn't want to disturb it too much, but just tickle it over, sowed those seeds, tickled it again to embed those seeds in, and um, then put some spent compost over the top to hopefully hold those seeds down. So I've sown some poppy seeds and some zinnias that we got from Anna, red zinnias and lime zinnias. Thanks very much for those, Anna. And also I had a few white, um, oh, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. Oh, we had them last year and uh, they, they took their time to get going. What are they called? Hang on there a second, hang on. Cosmos. Of course they're Cosmos. So, yeah, so I've sown those seeds. All of those seeds can just be scattered on the ground outside at the moment. And fingers crossed, some of them will germinate and come up. I've also got some seeds, some calendula seeds that Vivi gave me that I'm going to put in our calendula bed by the apple tree, the wilder bed that we have there. And just do a bit of pottering, really. Um, everything needed a really good water. So this rain has helped everything on the plot, which is great. I was looking at a few things yesterday thinking if we don't get, no, on Monday I was looking and thinking if we don't get any rain later in, or in the next day or so, I will have to water. But um, some things I watered that were in pots on the side of the shed here, I watered those yesterday and other things in the ground are just benefiting from that rain today which is set to continue though it has stopped for a moment so yeah i'm just going to have a little bit of time down here making a few notes and having a few thoughts and then i've got a call at my desk that i need to get back to in about 20 minutes 25 minutes so I'll be prepared for that when I get back to my desk. So I'll leave it for there. I'll leave it there for today. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Who knows what the weather will be? I don't think this wind, this weather system we have has become storm ever yet. But um, there's time. There's time. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good day. Still very breezy. It's very, very windy last night. And we have some damage. Yeah. You know what? I sort of expected that. It's um it's ripped. You can see the spine there has ripped away from the edge there. I mean, it was really a bit ramshackle anyway, but hey-ho, I think I'm just going to dismantle it now. Well, I can't dismantle it because I don't have the tools, but yeah, do something. And then if we come up here, everything else is fine. But look, the mug mug damage so mug needs to go back on top up here is all fine and let's just go into the poly because i noticed something a moment ago Can you see there? There's some green, yellowy green. That's Burpee's golden beetroot. It's a bit of growth there, which is a Goldana turnip. And then in here, right in the middle there, we've also got some Groninger Brussels sprout germination. And then if we come over here, Right in the middle there is five colours leaf beet germination. That one looks a bit ready. 
So, oh, I'm pleased about that. The burpees iceberg at the back and the Amish deer tongue lettuce are doing fine. But you know what? I'm really pleased to see this morning quite a bit of germination across these. Well, there's another Groninger right at the front there in the middle, just behind the, the name tag. Great. Everything else in here is looking nicely decent. And some salad leaves, some mizuna and some chicory for supper, which will be lovely. Right. Just... Look at that sky. Glorious. I'm now going to look around the rest of the site and see if anyone needs to be called about any damage they might need to come down and have a look at. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Good day. And what a blustery day it is. Yeah, I mean, I've just done the grow along video for planting our asparagus crowns and I had to do it in here because it was so windy outside, but I had to do some of it outside. So I hope that bit of sound has come out and not been too blowy. But yeah, it's a blowy day today, but I'm going to get on with something. So let me show you what that is before I do. Let me show you the tubs of asparagus crowns that we have planted up. Here we have them, six tubs. Here we have them, six tubs of backlim asparagus crowns planted up. They've had a, a good mulch. They've, uh, they're have they in really good nutritious compost. But once we planted them up, and covered them up we also gave them a good mulch with multi-purpose compost as well just to make sure that any weed seeds that do come into here end up being shallow rooted so we can whip them out quickly but yeah if you want to see how we planted up these back limb asparagus crowns do go along to the video which will be up by the time a week at the plot goes up on youtube i'll put a link here Tank foil.
so yes pretty blustery today <laughs> i'm rocking my hagrid look i'm just pleased to have started on those bed extensions um depending upon the weather i might come back later on and do some others it's because it's been raining quite a lot the soil is is easy to slice through but of course when you're taking weeds out and weed roots out that soil doesn't want to shake off so i think i'll look at the weather forecast and see what's happening tomorrow but i'm so pleased to crack on here now um it's time i want all of those four now done and you know what they will be maybe by the weekend maybe by the end of next week who knows you know it'll come down to the weather as i say what i did notice and i know this anyway a lot of sank foil and deep sank foil root i've gone down about 18 inches and there's still some sank foil root down there fingers crossed it won't grow quickly and i can just take it out as it does grow but i know it's a pernicious perennial weed so you know i need to be wary of that i'm just going to leave it open to the elements the rain will come down it'll wash some of those roots that i might not be able to see at the moment on the top of the soil and I think next week I'll go in there with a hand fork and just give it another weed. But you know what? That job has started. So that's great. Right. I will leave it there for today and I'll see you again for another segment of A Week at the Plot tomorrow. Bye. Good day. I'm not sure if you can see it's a bit of a bits and bobs day out there today it's been sunny it's been rainy it's been sleety it's been hailey at the moment there seems to be some snowy hail and it's pretty cold gosh i'm not sure if you can see that but it's really coming down quite more heavily now and actually i can see into the neighbor's garden where they've got some artificial grass and that hail is beginning to stick on the artificial grass so i just thought we'd have a quick update on what we've got growing at home at the moment and as you can see at the bottom there is a little aubergine let me just turn you down a bit these are the two aubergine you can see that the one at the back has got a couple of true leaves coming now and the one at the front has just got one we sowed a few more seeds a week or so ago in here and nothing is up from that sowing as yet and no further germination from the original sowing but fingers crossed these are seedlings we have downstairs there's nothing in this segment which is why this diagonal label is across it then this section is peppers these are the morrison's long yellow peppers that we save seeds from this segment is all tiny tim tomatoes most of these are a good two two and a half to three inches high then onto this segment this is jamaica Peppers, again from Brian. We've got a few more germinating at the moment, but we've got four there so far. Really good germination from Vivi's paprika peppers, which again are all about two, three inches tall. And then in this last segment, we've got Vivi's orange bell peppers, which again, we've got really decent germination from. And I think I've sort of sown them at the right thinness or sown thinly in the right way because I wanted more of the paprika peppers than the orange bell peppers. A few of the Jamaica peppers and then the same number of Morrison's yellow long I wanted as the paprika peppers. 
And then I think we'll be keeping three or four, maybe four of these tomatoes and the rest can go to neighbors and friends. So yeah, and if I just tilt that up, you see how tall they are looking at the moment. So yeah, I'm really pleased with those and we will see how they do in the coming months. Good day. It's Saturday afternoon and there's been a little lull in the wet weather. So I've just popped down to see if the poly tunnel was okay in the shed and noticed that this grow house has thrown out its contents. On closer inspection, the front foot on the left has rusted away and that's allowed this during the winds to just fall forward a little bit and it's basically thrown out its contents. So that's something I need to tidy up clearly and mend somehow. Maybe not mend it today, but tidy it up today. However, when I was down yesterday, I noticed that there was some soil movement in our highly scientific experiment in the polytunnel. So let's have a look in there. Just checking out the broad beans in our highly scientific experiment. And I think you can see in this front pale blue one, there's a leaf coming up in the sort of, well, the middle of the screen now. The dark blue has one coming up in the back left hand corner. The yellow has one, which you can just about see, coming up in the bottom left hand corner of the yellow. Nothing coming up in the red one, but look down there, there's a root. So, in our highly scientific experiment, three of these cereal cartons have got leaves coming up, and one has got roots going down. Mmm. Our foxes have been doing their work in this raised bed where we're going to be putting our parsnips and carrots in a few weeks time. So I think we are going to have to cover this because I will cover it when we sow our carrots and parsnips because I did rake this pretty level the other day and of course it was just a invite for the foxes to have a go at it so yeah need to think about how we're going to cover that when we do our carrots and parsnip sowing we've been given a few flowers just in the middle there that we've put in can't remember what they were but we have a plot holder here who grows a lot of fabulous flowers um, she's also given us some wild carrot which have gone in. I'm just loving the colours of this lungwort and that chicory there and look what's about to open. Now that really is a sight of spring isn't it? I do love 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 daffodils. This is the area I'm going to concentrate on now. I'm going to be taking out that purple sprouting broccoli and the rest of the Brussels sprouts because this is where we're going to be planting our peas, our train driver mountain range, our Oregon sugar pod which are already growing in their modules and need to go in the ground, they'll be going in next week and then we're going to be doing some direct sowing of peas as well or of Mange too, rather, as well. And then in this area, where we've got some Brussels sprouts from, oh, not Brussels sprouts, some broad beans from Vivi, I'm going to be doing some direct sowing in there next week as well, of broad beans. So we'll have Mange too on the left and broad beans on the right. But now I'm just going to crack on harvest the rest of those Brussels sprouts 
harvest what I can from here of the purple sprouting broccoli, keep some of the leaves and make sure it's nice and empty for work next week. That's the Brussels and purple sprouting broccoli out. Now I'm going to give it a fork over because if we come in you can see there the bane of my life, sank foil. Sank foil there, there, and it comes in from the edge here. So yeah, now I'm going to give it a fork over. This is all being forked over to a fork's depth and well weeded. When you go in, I notice like that, can you see that there? that bit of sank foil that will develop into a new plant that it's already doing it can you see at the top it's already doing it so when i have forked over i then go over the whole surface again there's another bit there that will develop this bit here will develop so yeah once I've gone over the soil forked over the soil and really weeded it I then go over it again close up and I will likely be going over this with a hand fork as well next week we just come over here these are all the roots that have come out mainly sank foil those big long roots black roots of sank foil these whiter ones here are bindweed not too much cooch grass but lots and lots of sank foil that's all going in our perennial weed bin few bits of plastic not too much plastic which is great so there we are that's it for another a week at the plot it's been a really mixed bag of weather from lovely sunshine as we've got at the moment to torrential rain to really strong winds maybe not gale force but at times they really felt as though they were some damage on the plot wind damage that we haven't had before and new seeds coming up new beds ready to sow things some additional plants in the flower border bed so yeah a really mixed week but a good week a good week if you've got any questions about what i do or why i do it please do put them in the comments below if you've got any comments obviously do the same and if you like what we do please do subscribe it is the quality of our subscribers rather than the quantity of our subscribers that we're really keen to invigorate and and excite and it's really interesting looking at the number of subscribers we have compared to the number of comments we get and the number of likes we get compared to the the channels that are much much bigger so you know we really do value you watching i i know we say that regularly but it's true it's very true so i will leave it there have a really good day if you're watching this on planet vegetaria and have a really good week if you're watching it on YouTube. See you very soon for another A Week at the Plot and also some other Grow Along videos. Bye.